President Donald Trump met with NATO leaders at what was supposed to be a simple photo op. Instead, the master negotiator dressed down leaders of the organization. He particularly confronted Germany, and it was brutally brilliant. This is the Donald Trump the world fears and our media quakes over. It is the Donald Trump that millions of Americans rallied behind and elected. Our president is not a coward. He is not going to play the diplomat, dancing around important issues, when lives are at stake. The president was elected to put Americans first. And at this week's NATO summit, he's doing just that. We should be very thankful that our country replaced the groveling Barack Obama with a powerhouse like Trump. From his earliest days in the professional world, Donald Trump locked horns with some of the toughest people in the world. New York real estate isn't for the faint of heart. It is a brutal, cutthroat industry. Trump came from the outer boroughs to dominate the fiercest real estate game in the world, Manhattan. It made him a hero among the working class and an enemy of the rich elite. It's no different today. The globalist powers that be want to take advantage of the United States. They take and take and take but give nothing in return. That is especially true of our allies in NATO. Much has been said about Europe's socialist healthcare systems. But do you know they can only afford their, honestly terrible, universal healthcare programs because we cover their military costs? European nations piggyback off of our contributions to NATO, from troops to military installations to blockades, giving them a massive break. But under Trump, that's all about to change. His first meeting with NATO heads this week was supposed to be a pointless, limp photo op. Not if Trump had anything to say about it. He used the opportunity to blast our so-called friends, demanding serious change. In a stunning public dressing down of NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg, President Trump fired off criticisms of the alliance reiterating his complaint that it is not paying enough for defense and singling out a German oil and gas pipeline deal with Russia. In what was supposed to be a brief photo op ahead of a bilateral breakfast meeting, Trump appeared to catch the Secretary General off guard, launching into the broadside as cameras clicked away and Stoltenberg struggled to get a word in. Well, I have to say I think it's very sad when Germany makes a massive oil and gas deal with Russia when you're supposed to be guarding against Russia. Trump said, flanked by Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, Secretary of Defense James Mattis, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly and K. Bailey Hutchison, the U.S. Permanent Representative to NATO. So, we're protecting Germany, we're protecting France, we're protecting all of these countries, the president said. And then numerous of the countries go out and make a pipeline deal with Russia where they're paying billions of dollars into the coffers of Russia. So. We are supposed to protect you against Russia. Source, NPR, Bilateral Breakfast with NATO Secretary General in Brussels, Belgium. Pick, Twitter, com slash L0 app 3 LZHCM. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, July 11, 2018. Even today, Russia poses a serious threat to European nations. They are literally on Eastern Europe's front lawn. Time and again we've seen Putin encroach on the sovereign rights of nations closest to his border. A top concern for all of Europe is to keep the superpower in check. Yet, they have just agreed to a deal to send Russia billions for a pipeline. Um, that sounds like a big conflict of interest to me. How about you? Meanwhile, NATO countries, like Germany, gobble up you. S. Contributions to stay safe from Russia. Am I taking crazy pills? Why should the United States fund and support Europe's defense, when they make the situation so much worse? President Trump explained very expertly why Germany's deal with Russia will be a disaster. It will put the nation, and every that uses it, at great risk. Bringing up the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline from Russia to Europe and how dependent it will make Germany and other European nations on imported Russian gas which in a crisis could easily be turned off at source by the Russian government as happened with Crimea. The president said Germany was becoming captive to Russia. Source, Briet Bart. With all the hysteria going on these days about Russia, from our media and abroad, why would any of our allies agree to such a deal? You don't have to be as smart as Trump to figure out why Germany's arrangement with Russia is a disaster. Russia will have a powerful hold over Germany and other nations. If push comes to shove, Russia can shut off that pipeline, 
choking the energy of hundreds of millions of people in Europe. Russia won't have to invade Europe to get its way, they can hold the entire continent hostage. But there is a reason why this deal happened. Surprise, surprise, Germany had an insider, referring to Gerhard Schroeder, the former German chancellor who sits on the board of the Nord Stream 2 energy company, Trump continued. The former chancellor of Germany is the head of the pipeline company that's supplying the gas. Germany is totally controlled by Russia. They will be getting 60-70% of their energy and a new pipeline. I think it's not appropriate, and it's a very bad thing for NATO. I think we have to talk to Germany about that. And by the way, Germany is just paying a bit over 1%, whereas the United States is paying in actual numbers 4.2% of actual GDP towards defense. We are paying a lot of money to protect. This has been going on for decades. It's very unfair to our country, it's very unfair to our taxpayers. These countries need to step it up, not over a 10-year period, but immediately. Source, Briet Bart. Um, corruption much? This former chancellor is going to make big bucks off this deal. He is ransoming his own country for a profit. This is straight out of the globalist playbook. The United States will have to pick up the pieces after Russia starts to get aggressive. Not anymore. President Trump made it very clear that the United States will no longer be punished for Europe's problems. If Germany wants to surrender to Russia, then fine, we won't be there to bail them out. Trump is putting our interests first, requiring the rest of the world to grow up and look after itself. It's about time.